This video is going to tr show you how to trace errors on the Adreno sketch using the serial commands. To begin with, in, void, in the void setup loop, I'm going to write a command called serial.begin and put a number after it, and I'm using 9600 in parentheses, and that's going to set the baud rate, and that's how quickly information is transferred between the Adreno and read by the computer. Then down in the void loop, that's going to be looping all the time, I'm going to pick uh, a spot, and in that spot where I want to check it, wherever that spot is in the code or in the sketch, I'm going to write serial.print in parentheses I'll choose the variable so in this case I want to check the variable that's called button one state and I can use any variable that I want to that I'm using in my program after that I'm going to dot put in a serial.print in quotes backslash in and that'll give me a new line so this sketch is already uploaded to my Arduino let's take a look at what it, the numbers look like I'm going to go to tools go down to serial monitor and I need to change the baud rate because I'm getting this junk off of it. So I'm going to go to baud rate 9600. So now the number in the sketch matches the number in the serial monitor. So everything should work just fine. I'll press a button, and sure enough, I get a different output. Get ones, press a button, and I get zeros. So I'm able to monitor what's going on with the certain variables as it's running on the Arduino. Now let's check by setting up a flag. And the flag's just going to tell me if something's been activated or not. So to begin with, I still have void set up. I have serial.begin, and I'm choosing 9600 baud as my baud rate. That's the rate that the information is being transferred back and forth between the computer and the Arduino. And then I'll go down to wherever I want to set the flag. And I could do something as simple as a simple statement, but I'm going to choose an if-then statement. Uh, so I'm going to write uh, if button one state, that's my variable, is equal to one. And then the first part of that, if it's true, it's going to write serial.print. And I'm going to use text this time. I'm just going to write button one state is high. And after that, I'm going to write serial.print in quotes backslash n. That'll give me the, I'll move the cursor to a new line. I'll put an else statement on there, and serial.print in quotes in parentheses. It'll say button one state is low, and I can write anything I want to in the quotes. After that, I'll write serial.print backslash n, and that'll move my cursor to a new line. So if I wanted to, I didn't have to use an if sta then statement. I could just write serial.print made it, and then I know if it made it that far in my program to activate something when I thought I should run. So it's running right now, it's already uploaded. Let's take a look at what it looks like. I'll go to the Tools menu and do the Serial Monitor, making sure my bud, baud rates match. Yep, looking good. And when I press the button, it says button state is low. High when it's not pressed, low when it is. So now I have an idea of, of what's going on with my circuit.